when you type into Google how to trim black nails, what you're likely to find is what is called the black dot. Heck, I've even referenced the black dot on a few of my videos over across my channel and it is actually pretty important. And in a lot of cases, it is the standard for knowing when to stop when trimming black nails on dogs. But recently I came across a post on Facebook having to do with this very concept. And it really got me thinking about the advice that we as professionals tend to give. And not just professionals, generally speaking, most people who do trim black nails often does have this advice. And as I said, it's readily available on the internet and this is gonna be what you see in a lot of reference charts. And here is what I started to think about. There are many times when I, as a professional, take for granted the knowledge that I have amassed over my 15 years experience. And because of this working experience, often it makes trimming nails, particularly black nails, kind of just second nature. And because of this, I'm here to tell you today that sometimes when you're looking for a black dot, you won't find it. And because of this, it might fail you and then you end up nicking a quick. And this is gonna make your dog's experience and your experience not so great. So to try and get all the information I can out there to all you people and just be as generally helpful as I possibly can be because I actually do want to help you trim your pet's nails at home because it's good, it's healthy for your pets and I know I like to do it myself, so why wouldn't you? So today I'm going to go into the times that when you're looking for a black dot, you might not find it. But the good news is there are other tips and tricks that I'm here to help you with today so that you can feel comfortable if the black dot doesn't happen to appear. So if you aren't sure exactly what I'm talking about, maybe you're like, what? black dot. What is this crazy lady saying? What I'm talking about here is a black dot that forms in the center of black nails when you are trimming that actually starts to show you where the vein begins and ends on the nail. And that vein, if you are not familiar, is referred to as the quick. So let's get into the first scenario where you may not actually have the luxury of seeing a black dot. And I will say this is probably the most common circumstance and it is nothing to worry about. And it actually occurs when you are grinding nails. And more specifically, it mostly occurs when you are just grinding nails. So on my channel, I often say it's better to clip and then to grind, but some dogs are not tolerant of the nail clippers, so owners might opt to just grind, which I do have some clients of my own as well who are grind only. They really panic when I bring up the nail clippers, but they're fine with the grinder. So that works for them, works for me. But in these circumstances, when you are grinding alone, you are more likely not to see a black dot. And this can happen for a couple reasons. It can happen because when you're grinding, it creates a lot of dust and you might not always see it. Sometimes you can see it shooting out, but sometimes depending on lighting, it might not be very noticeable. And this dust gets everywhere. I'm talking <laughs> everywhere. As I said, it can shoot in the air, which in turn you can inhale into your lungs and that can lead to what's called groomer's lung. This is a totally separate thing, but be careful with the grinders. Make sure you wear a mask if you are using them. It is for safety precautions. Other than that, it's probably gonna be on your clothes, maybe on your face, but you know where else it's gonna be is on the dog's nail itself. Now, most of the time, this nail dust can be wiped off. So if you keep like a wet rag or a damp cloth nearby, this is really gonna help you. You just need to wipe off the nail before continuing because that way you can kind of see, is there a black dot, is there not? It just makes your life easier to have it handy. Even just having a dry wipe nearby sometimes can help you substantially. And this is because usually when you are grinding, not only the nail dust, but it's kind of not taking off the layers in the same way that clipping does. And because of this, the black dot is actually more of a standard when it comes to nail clipping as opposed to nail grinding. Now, the reason why I like to do both is because I can see that black dot form when I'm clipping and then go in with the grinder, get the edges and just take off that little bit of excess that's harder to get with the nail clipper. But 
if the nail is already super short to begin with, this may kind of compound the problem. The shorter the nail, the less noticeable your black dot is gonna be. I know that sounds strange and it's because, and I will throw up a diagram here for you, when you look at the nail and you look at what kind of a standard long nail is going to look like and what a short nail is going to look like, you can see a huge difference in the actual circumference of the vein. And because of this, a lot of the time when you are trimming shorter nails, the circumference of the vein is going to take up the majority of the nail. And it's not going to be a noticeable change as it would when you're clipping a longer nail. So. When you're clipping a longer nail, you're gonna start to see that black dot get bigger and bigger and bigger, whereas a short nail, I mean, it's gonna take up most of it anyways, so you're kinda gonna be looking at it and saying, what black dot? It all looks the same to me. What you can do in these circumstances is actually use your finger. And because the pulp, which is the soft part of the nail, is going to take up the majority of it. So you can kind of use the tip of your finger or like your tip of your nail. Now, don't push too hard, but push into the nail and if it begins to kind of feel soft that is a good starting point in knowing you are proceeding into the quick and you need to slow down or stop completely depending on how soft it is in fact you might even be able to create an actual indent into the nail if it is creating an indent i would proceed with extreme caution or rather just stop because you're likely right at the beginnings of that quick. So I'm gonna put up a couple pictures here so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. These nails are really well maintained and because of that, if you're looking at the black dot, for me, I'm looking at it and I can see it pretty clearly, but for the general public, what you're gonna be looking at, you're gonna say, what? I don't see one. And that's okay because you're not looking at as many nails as I do per day and this is just for your reference in terms of what I'm actually speaking about. If you take a close look, you can almost see that this would feel kind of soft on the ends, almost mushy from the pulp that's exposed, as well the outer ridge of the nail and the black dot forming in the middle. And I'm just gonna help you by circling where the quicks are so you can see. So keep in mind the structure of nails and their formations. I'm gonna throw up a graphic here depicting what I'm talking about. So when you're looking at nails, you have the white outer shell or the black outer shell, which is the color of the nail itself. Inside in the pink is the representation of the quick or the vein. Now the blue line is going to represent the first cut line and the other blue lines are what is referred to as alternative cut lines. And if you have a dog with long quicks, this is what you wanna cut to help recede them. And I do have an entire video dedicated to these alternate cut lines and you can find that here. And it's gonna really help you know where to begin and end with, in terms of cutting your dog's nails, those alternate cut lines help you push back that vein that's in there so that their nails over time become shorter. But what I'm actually talking about here today is the yellow line. So this dog's nails are already short. So they are, when you are looking at them, almost at that yellow line already. Look at how large the quick is comparatively from the long versus short cuts and where you're kind of clipping there. Obviously those shorter nails are going to take up a larger amount of space and that's exactly what I was trying to get at is that when you're looking at it, it's just gonna be such a subtle change that you're not gonna really see the impact of the black dot in the same way that longer nails would. Long quicks look more like a pencil dot in the middle of a nail, whereas shorter clips kind of almost exceed out to the edges of the nail itself. Now, some people do claim that their dogs have never had black dots. And I have never experienced this with my own pets, with any of my clients. I have always been able to find a black dot. So I'm not about to sit here and say that's false information because all dogs are different. I know this from experience. There are so many factors that go into not only dog structure, but even coat types and things like that, they can all have variables. So 
I can't say that that's not true because it could definitely be a possibility. Drop a comment down below. Let me know, does your dog have a black dot that forms in their black nails or not? I'm very curious how my viewers dog's situation is, but here's where the other issue can lie. Now, if your dog is not very well behaved for nail clipping, it can be hard to see the black dot. It really can. Lighting is going to affect it. Their behavior in the sense of movement, if they're moving a lot, you just may not be able to focus your eyes enough to see that black dot. So if the behavior of your dog is really holding you back in terms of being able to get those nails short, I'm actually here to help, especially if you can't even get them done at all. I've got a video where I go over teaching your dog to actually enjoy the process of nail clipping. And yes, it's possible in this video right here where I go over all the tips and tricks and training routines that you need to make your dog actually enjoy nail clipping. Don't stress, I got you covered.